I just created a beta copy of my new 60 day planner. And here it is. And I just wanted to share a couple of things, some of the contents that I have, because this is a planner. I used a lot of different planners over the years and too many to count. And I always found that there was things missing or I liked one part of it, but it was missing this and it wasn't creative enough for me. So this is what I've come up with. So some of the contents for this, and this is two months. You have a, a page that has a list of your roles, all your roles to connect with and your projects at a glance. And this is really helpful too. I haven't filled in mine yet, but these are all the projects you're doing. And then there's seven stages to your project management. And you can check mark where each of your projects is currently. Um, check out some of my other posts and you can search on my website for project management to see all of the seven stages. But it's nice to be able to look at a glance and go, oh, I'm at stage three with this one. So I can do stage three type of work or stage seven. So it really helps you hit the ground running with all your different projects that you have, all the things that are on your plate. Then I have a, uh, a year's worth of calendar and then some area for uh, projects, all the projects that you have and some of the outcomes you wanna do. And then I have a section for goals, mini mission statements, because that's a good thing to do every 60 days. And then a week at a glance sheet for each week. So that's maybe eight weeks or nine weeks for the two months. And you can just jot down <clears throat> vital things for that week. And then we have the daily sheet. This opens up two pages each day. So on the left side, we have our top outcomes for the day in this open box. And then you know, just random thoughts throughout the day. Then on the right side page is for journal, snippets for your journal, things that you wanna cover in your journal, and maybe a section also for uh, color words, kind of new vocabulary that I like to use. And then I usually just put a section for notes where I can um, think about for next, the next 60 day time period. And that is my 60 day beta copy of my planner. Let me know what you think. I'd be interested in what do you think uh, you would like to have in a 60 day planner? Is 60 days a good amount of time? And uh, just tell me what you think of the, the process so far. Also follow for more productivity tips and check out my podcast, All the Hats We Wear. Thanks, bye-bye.